Today, we're going to show you six ways to support your runner beans or your pole beans. So let me show you. So number one is the traditional A-frame with two canes crossing at the top and a bar going across the top. Push two canes into the ground and cross them close to the top. Use a cable tie or some string and not join them together. Repeat the same process. For the dam, halfway dam. Push it firmly down and then cross the top. Do the same again, another two. Join them at the top. And then we take our cross member and it can sit between all three of the canes and then it can be securely tied on with some string and all we have to do is add the cross members along at equal lengths Either side. And then we'll join all the tops, both sides, and then we can plant on the bottom. Add an extra cane if it needs to be a bit longer and attach every one of the sections of string or cable tie and don't forget the cross support so instead of using canes there is a shop bought version and it uses these poles and they have clips at the top and the cross member all clips together which is an ideal simple version straight and easy so a simpler way of the TP is straight up using canes and you've got three stakes one either end one in the middle move into the ground and across Cane going across the middle and then all the uprights at equal lengths tied in to the cane on the top all the way along. So another way is using a teepee and this is quite efficient of space, it stands tall and you can use four five, six, seven or eight canes. Just tie off some canes in the middle, insert them in equal spaces and we've got a great support and it's not moving anywhere.
So here we have a simplified version of the TP, and that's just using four canes. And these would be perfect for French beans. Another method you could try is doing a V-shaped arch. And with the V-shaped, when the runners grow up, you should hang down. That'd be a great idea. So similar to the A-frame, I've done three ends, just to secure the middle one. Then we can go along. I think support. All the way along. Forming a crisscross. Securing them in the middle. So we don't always need canes, you can use dogwood, willow or hazel, some straight branches, tie them in the middle and that's great, a really attractive way to grow your beans. Looks good too. An arbor. Or a little frame will work just as well. A couple of poles, string, and look for the beans to attach onto and grow over. That will work really well. So there's a few alternatives. You could grow it up a frame using some of this wire mesh or even a trellis on a wall. So this year, I'm using none of those ideas and I'm using my polytunnel frame. This was my polytunnel and it got damaged in the winds and I used it as a netted brassica frame and then the brassica frame also got damaged so I've added a cane across the middle and I've attached this rope in equal lengths across this tunnel and we're going to grow the beans up in the arch and hopefully they should drop down and make a lovely tunnel for picking. So I hope that helps how you support your runner beans or your pole beans. Let me know in the comments which way do you grow your runners and what supports do you use. Let me know in the comments below and we can see what everybody does. And if you're new to my channel then please subscribe, ring that bell, get notifications when I post some more and come back and have a look what this tunnel is doing. So if you want to see what we're growing and sowing for the rest of May, then click on the link just here and we'll see you soon. Cheers!